good morning. Oh my gosh, you just caught me. <laughs> I'm still in my PJs. Woo! <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I look this good when I wake up. <laughs> Anyway, uh, today on the show, we're going to be doing a hearty comfort food dish using beef and a slow cooker. It's a perfect marriage. Before I start the beef dish, here's some exciting news. Me and Breville are giving away a Fast Slow Pro. This is a slow cooker and a pressure cooker. It does everything but wash your dishes and turn your husband into somebody sweet. I don't know. And so all you have to do is be a subscriber. So subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, but to all my loyal subscribers, tell me your favorite dish to cook in a slow cooker. And you get a chance. The draw is on February the 8th. And I'm telling you, this baby is so amazing. It's worth over 300 bucks. I love my Breville slow cooker and you're gonna love yours too. Let's start slow cooker. I love using my slow cooker when I'm using uh, tougher cuts of meat because it's going to be a lot of moisture in the pot. It's going to get really tender. Now this recipe usually calls for uh, short ribs, but I am using a beef shank. And a beef shank, according to my butcher, and I always listen to my butcher, listen to the pros, has less fat than a short rib, and I want it to be heart healthy. And so we're getting a lot of zinc and protein without a whole ton of saturated fat in this recipe. And then I want to mix together some whole wheat flour, and I'm going to add some cracked fresh pepper. So really Really crack it up and then ground thyme. Now ground thyme is not the same as ground uh, as leaves because it's finer and more intense and you don't want the leaves you want the ground thyme. So I just mix it up together on a plate and then I'm going to make sure that both sides of the beef shank are covered. So once all the meat has been covered, we're going to uh, fry it up to, we're going to give it a brown uh, in, a, in a frying pan. And I'm not going to throw this flour out, I'm going to use it as a thickener. So we're going to add some uh, canola oil because it's a heart healthy fat. Just swirl it around the frying pan a little bit. And then we're going to add the floured beef shanks now. So add that. And what we're doing right now is we're getting some brown, basically caramelization, and that's going to give another layer of flavor to the recipe. And that's what you're trying to do is develop flavors in the frying pan. We're going to brown them on both sides. Okay, just going to give them a check. Ugh, they're perfect. So you see a little bit of color that's happened there. You don't want to overcook them because you're going to toughen them up. So it's just to add a little bit of color and a little bit more flavor. Brown them on the other side for about two minutes. Minute. Okay, maybe a minute or two. <laughs> so always make sure that you're washing your hands really well with soap and water uh, before, before and after you touch raw protein, raw meat. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up our onions. And I love uh, wearing my onion goggles. <laughs> Best way to never cry. So the meat's already into the uh, into my slow cooker, uh, and then I'm going to brown the onions in the same frying pan. Yes, you're welcome. You don't even have to clean it between frying. So when the onions start to develop some color, you're going to add the garlic, and it's a whole ton of garlic. Um, there's actually about six garlic cloves in there, but it really enhances the flavor. And just saute that just gently for about a minute. And then you turn the heat off and you add the beef broth because we want to deglaze the pan. But we don't want to lose a lot of the liquid. But we're basically getting all those wonderful bits off of the frying pan so that they're going to add flavor. 
into the slow cooker. So now we're gonna mix up the, the rest of the liquids, all right? So I'm using tomato paste. Now here's a little tip, professional home economist tip. Woo! Uh, did you know that you can get tomato paste in a tube? It looks like toothpaste. It doesn't taste anything like toothpaste. And although I like these little cans, there's so much, you know, you open it, you use two tablespoons, you got to freeze the rest. It's a big mess. This is so cool. So you need, you need uh, two tablespoons of tomato paste and we need a half a cup of red wine. And remember, only use the red wine that you would actually drink. Uh, if, if it's not drinkable, don't be putting it in this recipe. Mix in the, the tomato paste and then we're going to add work Worcester, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, whatever the heck it's called. And then we're going to add the rest of our flour. And um, I just want to rub it in with my hands. And this is going to help thicken the entire sauce while it's in the slow cooker. And then we're going to whisk it together like that with a whisk. Where's my whisk? The next ingredient is, um, I use iodized salt. I don't like the other kinds of salt because we need iodine and I know that the iodized salt has enough iodine. It's only a teaspoon, but I used uh, no salt out of beef stock and there's no other salt. Um, there's a little bit of salt in the tomato paste, but it's naturally occurring. Okay, this is look, looking excellent. Clear this off and we're going to chop up the carrots. Now here's my little home economist tip. You want to have some surface area. So you want to cut like the top of the carrot off and I did it on an angle and then I'm angling it so they look a little prettier in the pot but they don't look as like little literally that whoa that looks boring but these have a little bit more texture they look a little prettier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to dump all the carrots into the slow cooker. Okay, we have one more ingredient. It's fresh rosemary. Now you can use dried rosemary if you want, but I'm going to go out into my garden and get some fresh rosemary. It's alive! It's alive! It's a little flash frozen, but it's alive. <laughs> Perfect for this recipe. Just knock the snow off it. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Oh my gosh, fresh rosemary. So you want like three sprigs. Well, I got more than that, but I love rosemary. Um, and I'm just going to pick the dead leaves off. It's fine. We're Canadians. And then you get a piece of butcher string. And you need butcher string. My sister once tied a turkey up with bungee cord. And they ate the orange gravy. It was awful. Anyway, okay, so tie this in a little bow or a little knot. And then you're going to stick it right into the... Well, we'll throw that guy back in there. Whatever. Uh, we're going to stick it right into the... The cooker. Now... If you are lucky enough to get a Breville, it has a sear function. And that means that you don't have to use a frying pan. You could have seared the meat in there. You could have done the onions in there. But I did it in a frying pan for all the people who don't have a Breville. So fingers crossed, you get the giveaway because it makes your life even easier. Yeah, I'm so marrying that pot. And now the mushrooms. So there's, uh, there's a whole bunch. Just look at the recipe below and the mushrooms go on top. There's going to add some liquid. Don't skip this ingredient. And then we're going to line it up, twist it tight, push the function. I want slow cooker for six hours on low. Push the magic button and Breville do your thing. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. 
Well, that was a nice relaxing day until my husband hit me in the head with his sock because he wanted the remote control. <laughs> anyway, dinner's ready. Um, I like to serve this over top of barley. It's heart healthy with some uh, baby peas. And so until next time, I'm wishing you peace, love and fiber. And make sure that you uh, check out last week's video. It was a Moroccan chicken dish that I made for when company comes over and it's elegant and easy. And you can always subscribe and get a chance for the giveaway. See you next time. Peace, love and fiber. Mmm. 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 Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Good morning. Oh my gosh, you just caught me. <laughs> I'm still in my PJs. Woo! <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I look this good when I wake up. <laughs> Anyway, uh, today on the show, we're going to be doing a hearty comfort food dish using beef and a slow cooker. It's a perfect marriage. <laughs> Before I start the beef dish, here's some exciting news. Me and Breville are giving away a Fast Slow Pro. This is a slow cooker and a pressure cooker. It does everything but wash your dishes and turn your husband into somebody sweet. I don't know. And so all you have to do is be a subscriber. So subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. But to all my loyal subscribers, tell me your favorite dish to cook in a slow cooker. And you get a chance. The draw is on February the 8th. And I'm telling you, this baby is so amazing. It's worth over 300 bucks. 